Okay guys, I finally got the metal parts have come in. Um, like I said, they're basically um, exhaust pieces, uh, mild steel. They're coated in aluminum, so they're not going to really rust or anything. I'm personally going to paint these um, with a, a truck bed liner um, just to keep the aesthetics right and make sure it doesn't rust or anything. Um, but anyway, let's uh, give you a look at it. Okay, so basically what I did is I purchased um, these elbows, which are super cheap because um, they're mass produced and that fits in here really nice. So I will cap this off, probably a 3D print apart or something. And um, I still have to bolt together right now. I'm, you know, truing everything up. Um, the plan is, is that this sec section here actually raises it up off the water more, which is what I wanted. Um, right now I'm debating on a couple things. This is a uh, pilot optional boat. So I have to think ahead and consider, um, you know, the layout and how seating is going to be. So right now these pipes don't go to what, I'm not going to use these. But I'm anticipating what's going to happen is this will probably look something like this. I'll pay a welder to weld two more pipes like that in between. And so the gist of it is, is if you're boarding the boat, this gives you something to stand on, which it didn't have have before. Before you had to stand on the platform to get on it, which is fine because it was a sailboat. But the plan is, is that I'm going to make a series of, the seating will probably be on each side of wherever this ends up. The, I call them smart guts, but the smart guts, the, the basic core of how it operates will be there'll be a platform there either screen or um, marine grade plastic which is kind of like an ABS but it doesn't have issues with uh, water and sun damage things like that so imagine these sides being open this being the core of all the guts there'll be a fold down awning that you know if I'm driving in it and I want some shade the awning will fold up over the top Eventually there will be an additional rack that will come across the front here and this bank will be solar panels. So there will probably be about, I'm assuming, 6, 100 watts per panel I think is what they're doing. So there will be a rack that comes out like this with the solar panels, seating that folds down on each side, and then the core guts. So there will probably be a... Um, one of those boxes, like a rooftop box, is probably what will go on there. And then on the back here, there's going to be two um, linear activated motors that will, the, the um, servos will basically lift. These, there'll be a kind of an L-shaped rack with two trolling motors, and when you activate it, it lifts it up out of the water. Um, the you can see I got this area sits pretty low in the uh, water as far as I remember um, of a typical Hobie cat um, but you can see it's really simple I actually weighed these two bar not those but just these two U bars I was worried it's going to be heavier than the original ones in the back those in the back weigh 26 pounds total not including these which weigh absolutely nothing because they're aluminum um, but these original Hobie racks, mainly because these brackets are beefy, because they're designed to be kind of like, uh, um, sporty, super strong, because they, they drive Hobie cats like crazy people in the ocean. Um, but basically these two together weigh 26 pounds and these elbows that I made weigh exactly 26 pounds. So I didn't add any weight to the boat. I'm going to get the same performance, um, and so it's, it's coming out actually pretty good. I'm pretty jazzed about this.